We are going to go over segmentation in our vision software. We're going to segment the upper arch. First thing we're going to do is evaluate the patient's arch and see if there's any missing teeth. If there are, we're going to declare those teeth missing on the left side on the tooth chart. So in this case, for example, the upper arch is missing tooth 1-8. So we are going to declare that tooth missing by hovering over the missing tooth icon and clicking on it. You will see that the tooth has been deactivated or grayed out. It'll automatically jump to the next tooth, which is tooth 1-7. And we'll begin to place our distal and mesial landmarks. Again, it automatically jumps to the next tooth unless you need to correct something in the tooth that you just worked on. You will have to click on the tooth and go back to it and adjust it or click on the delete icon to undo what you did to tooth 1-7. So we're going to click on the delete icon and we're going to place our distal and mesial landmarks again. Once it's done, it'll jump to the next tooth. And you will continue to place your landmarks on every tooth. The mesial and distal landmarks are creating the T mark, and that's what we're looking for, a T mark across each occlusal surface of the tooth. Once you've completed tooth 2-8, which in this case is missing, we're going to declare that tooth missing, it'll automatically jump to the lower arch, which we have already done. But if you need to reset, you simply click reset and it'll undo everything on the arch and you can start over. And again, or you can click on the delete icon next to any specific tooth that you need to work on again. We're gonna click on next. It's auto segmentation uh, processing and it'll save it and then show us what the outcome is of that segmentation. If we need to adjust, select the arch that you wanna work on and make any adjustments that you may need to. Grab the bullet that you need to adjust and bring it to where you want it. If you need to add or delete a bullet, just double click on the left clicker of the mouse and it'll add the bullet. If you need to remove the bullet, just double click on the bullet itself again with the left clicker of the mouse. And continue any adjustments that you may need to do. You can use the hotkeys for quick visualization. Let's check out our lingual side and make any adjustments. Looks like it's okay. Upper looks good. And we'll hit next. So as you can see, as it's going through the timeline, what it's doing, it's a high ginger of a segmentation. So what it's allowing us to do is to evaluate anything that we would consider a high gingiva or an actual black triangle, we can adjust by you know, the inner proximal papilla by either declaring a black triangle or high gingiva. Again, by moving this, it's I'm telling the software that this is a black triangle and not gingiva so I want to adjust it to make sure that it is a high gingiva we'll click next 
if you need to evaluate your lower, you can do so as well. Once you've completed that, we'll move to the next step. It says generating trim line. This trim line is where the beginning of the base will occur. We can adjust by moving the bullet if we need to show less gingiva from the gum margin to the actual area where the base will begin. But remember, we need those two to three millimeters of gum tissue if you decide to do aligners. We'll make adjustments. Again, if you need to add bullets, just double click on the left clicker to add additional bullets. Once you've completed the adjustments, hit next. And as you can see, that's where the beginning of the edge of the base and you have an automatic horseshoe base. If you feel that you need to increment that horseshoe base, you can use the plus to increase the size of the base here. If you feel you need to decrease, you can select the minus button. This is to activate or deactivate the arch. And this is to activate or deactivate the contour of the tooth. I hope this tutorial has been helpful.